हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू ए इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सेवन इंजीनियरिंग वेजेस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम फॉर डिटरमाइनिंग द बेंडिंग स्ट्रेसेस इन अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स दैट कैलकुलेट द मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेसेस फॉर अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम ऑफ लेंथ 10 मीटर सो दिस इज अ बीम ऑफ लेंथ 10 मीटर एंड द बीम द डेप्थ ऑफ द बीम इज 800 मिलीमीटर सो हियर इज द The depth of the beam is given to us, which is 800 millimeter, and the width of beam is 400 millimeter. And this is also the another dimension of the beam, which is width is 400 millimeter. The beam carries uniformly distributed load of 30 kN per meter over the whole length of the beam, and there is a distributed load act on this beam, which is a simply supported, and the magnitude of this load is 30 kN per meter. and this load is distributed over the whole length of the beam so we are going to find out the maximum bending stresses in the beam so to start with the finding the maximum bending stresses we know the bending equation the bending stress equation is m divided by i is equal to the bending stresses Dividing by the y, so this is the bending stress equation or the flexural stress equation, and this equation is used to find out the stresses at any point. Now here in this case, we are going to find out the maximum bending stress in this beam. So this is the bending stress equation used. So we have to know about each this factor. Now this F P is the bending stress. So if I move it this into the right side and to the left side so it will become if p is equal to the m divided by i into y now this m is the bending moment value here in this case is the question is about the maximum bending moment so it means maximum bending stresses so it means that we have to find out the maximum bending moment in our beam because this moment relates to the bending stresses so m is the maximum bending moment so we have to find out the maximum bending moment for this beam i is the moment of inertia for this beam this cross section of the beam is given to us so we can easily find the moment of inertia and y is the distance from the neutral axis of the beam let's suppose this is the neutral axis of the beam so it is the distance from the neutral axis up to the point where you want to find out the stresses so let's suppose we want to find out the stresses at this point this any point at this point so it will be y so y is the distance from neutral axis to any point where you want to find out the bending stresses distance from neutral axis to any point so where if b is the bending stresses in this case we have maximum bending stresses so we will call this if b is the maximum bending stresses because we are going to find out the maximum bending stresses so the bending stresses as i discussed before the bending stresses depends on the bending moment diagram so we are going to find out the maximum bending stresses so it means we have to find out the maximum bending moment value in our beam so this is a beam so we know that if there is a simply supported beam so its shear force diagram will look like this and its bending moment diagram will be like this I have uploaded many videos about the shear force and bending moment diagram, so you can watch the other videos how we can find out the shear forces and bending moment values for each type for different types of the beams. Here, for simple supported beam, we can get such type of shear force and such type of bending moment diagram. So here we will have the maximum bending moment because this is the this is a simply supported beam and it is supports at the two ends. So it will deflect here in this way and will show the maximum deflection at the midpoint and also it will show the maximum bending moment here 
at this point at the mid of the beam so we can find the maximum bending moment value here at this point because we have three unknown one is a moment one is y and one is i so the moment value we can find out here the moment for a simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load is we can find out by simply this formula wl square by 8 where now w is 30 l is 10 meter dividing by 8 so we get the moment value of 375 kilonewton meter so this is the bending moment for this beam and this will be the maximum bending moment value for this beam it will act at the mid of this beam now what will be the y y in this case we are going to find out the maximum bending stresses so always the maximum bending stresses are at the extreme portion of the beam if this is the cross section of the beam if this is the same cross section of the beam and this is the neutral axis so the maximum stresses are always at the extreme portion of the beam if i draw the, the diagram of stresses so this portion will be compressed there here we, we will we have compressor stresses and here we will have tensile stresses in a beam because the top portion is compressed and the bottom is portion is in tension so we will have the maximum stresses at the two extreme portion so it means our y will be this whole distance from this neutral axis to this top portion because the maximum bending stresses are always at the top of the beam at the top portion of the beam so this distance will be y and when it becomes from the neutral axis to the top distance so we call y is equal to the c so it means y is c now in this case so here we have y is equal to c is equal to the half of the height because it is the total depth and we have the half of the depth so it is 800 divided by 2 we get 400 400 millimeter or we can call it 0.4 meter so this is the y now what will be the moment of inertia for this beam this is a rectangular beam So it is bh cubed divided by 12 b is 400 millimeter so if we convert into the meter so it will become 0.4 and 0.8 divided by 12 we get the moment of inertia of 0 0.017 meter power 4 we use all these units in the meter or in the kilonewton so we will have the same unit at the end so after finding all these values, we've put into the, this equation, the bending stress, the bending stress formula. So the FB, which would be the maximum bending stress is now, will be M, M into C divided by I. So M is the 375, where C is the, we find out C here, 0.4. and moment of inertia we found out point zero one seven so this is the maximum bending stresses in a beam which comes out to be eight eight two three kilonewton per meter square or if we convert into the simply unit it comes out to be eight point eight two three newton per millimeter square or mega pascal or eight point eight two three mega pascal so this this is the maximum bending stresses we have in this beam and this in this maximum stresses we will have at the mid portion of the beam here and at the extreme portion at this value and here we will have the value of 8.823 mega pascal similarly here at this end of the beam we will have the bending stress value of 8.823 mega pascal so we will have the maximum value as we are going down 
into the beam, our bending value decreases and we have zero value at the mid of the beam which we call is the neutral axis. And similarly here, we have the maximum value at the top, at the bottom of the beam, 8.823 megapascal. And if we go up into this beam, our bending value or bending stresses value will decrease and will become zero in the mid of the beam. Hope you guys understand how to find out the bending stresses and the maximum bending stresses for any beam. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.